What we're trying to do as a board, first of all, is ensure that not just the board but the organisation has the tools to ask the right questions. It is entirely possible to produce plausible answers, great answers indeed, but if they're the answers to the wrong questions, then that's going to leave you in a very difficult place. Wasted time, wasted resources. Uh, and we'd strongly, I'd strongly recommend that as part of that um, debate, as part of that discussion, you begin to produce things like driver, di driver diagrams or logic diagrams, which make it very simple and very clear about what you're trying to achieve, achieve and what sort of data you might require to actually support that. The second element is to be aware of the data that you do have and what you can do with it. It, it is possible for the best to be the enemy of the good. Uh, and it is sensible to be pragmatic with the data that you have. What is it you have? Can you use it? How do you use it effectively? And not spend too much time having too much agonies over you know, gathering more data. My experience is most organisations have the data they need to make at least the rough cut decisions, the rough cut approaches to priorities, and to help them refine more detailed lines of inquiry. The third element is ensuring that your organisation has the skills and capabilities and capacity to actually deliver effective measurement for improvement. And I would say this is not about the analysts. Analysts are only a very small part of the jigsaw. It is a managerial task and a clinical task throughout the organisation to understand the basics of measurement and data. Analysts are suppliers. You are the clients. Unless the client is an informed client, however good the analysts are, they're not actually going to be able to meet your expectations. So those are sort of the main threads. Asking the right questions, ensuring the organisation has the right data and the good enough data to support it. And the third element is ensuring the organisation has the capability and capacity to actually deliver on that and to do something with the data. A better handle on capacity and demand as part of some fundamental service redesign. Uh, and in the past, you, know, you would see this fairly normal series of stacked bar graphs, sort of trying to tell you something about the levels of demand you have in the system, the levels of referral, the levels of uh, case, uh, case intensity that we're holding. As a board, we've actually switched that to SPC. And as a result, we've got a much better handle and a much better understanding of what is actually driving our demand and the nature of the change in that demand over a period of three or four years. So what we're actually seeing is not just demand increasing, but actually seeing caseload increasing and the intensity of caseload increasing. And it was the use of SPC and run charts and some of the discussions that were happening behind them that allow us to begin to unpack what was actually happening and make a more informed, take a more informed approach to some of the targeting of our service redesign. So this is my pledge uh, to provide my time, support and knowledge to sort of guiding coalitions, groups of people working on measurement for improvement, whether that's locally or nationally, who are trying to spread that measurement for improvement infection. Get in touch. <laughs>